Alan Rickman, may you rest in peace. Eye in the Sky is the final film from Alan Rickman and it also stars Helen Mirren, Aaron Paul, and Barkhad Abdi. The film focuses on drone warfare as Aaron Paul's character is guiding this Eye in the Sky to annihilate a terrorist group. The problem is, however, that there's this little girl consistently surrounding the area and this creates an international problem as to if they should strike or not. So going into this movie, I really didn't know what to expect. I saw a couple trailers and I didn't really care to see it. I didn't really have any interest to see it. But I'm glad I did, however, because Eye in the Sky is an intense and grippy movie that that will have your views of drone warfare flipping the entire time. Now obviously everyone here is good, this is Aaron Paul's best performance next to Breaking Bad. You can really tell how distraught his character is in the situation and you do empathize with him. And Alan Rickman's final on-screen performance is great. And I'm not just saying that because this is the last film, but his character, you can tell he's not really distraught, but he doesn't really know what to make of the situation, and he plays that up perfectly, and also his ending line is one of the best lines of 2016 so far. But easily for me, the star in this movie was Helen Mirren. She puts everything she can into this character, and originally I was thinking she cannot pull off a role like this, but she does, and she does it with flying colors. Gavin Hood's direction also provides a sense of realism to the movie as it all takes place in real time which keeps you much more invested. The movie also doesn't really pick one definitive side for drone warfare as to if it's good or bad. It gives you both sides, it presents both arguments, and you're up to interpretation as to if you think it's a good thing or a bad thing, and that was really good. If I had to complain, I can tell how the film can get very slow and extremely repetitive for a lot of people because it is basically the entire time, do we strike or do we not, do we strike or do we not. But the dialogue here is written so well and it's very engaging that I found myself enjoying the entire thing. With all that said, I'm going to give Eye in the Sky a B B+. Thank you all so much for watching and until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 411 and I will see you all later.